Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines DLC Green Cities. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Today is episode two and I've got a great episode planned for you. As always, hashtag question of the day. What is your guys' favorite type of simulator game? Let me know down in the comment section below using the hashtag question of the day. I'd really like to know. As always, if you guys enjoy the series, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get into today's episode. So I actually did a ton of research into city planning uh, to kind of see what I should be doing. And turns out I'm I'm actually kind of right. Almost every single city is based off a grid. Maybe not this exact grid, but um, there there's no like no difference. The only thing that they do, which we had already kind of did was over here. They parallel everything to highways. That's it. Like I was I was genuinely surprised, to be honest with you. So that's what we're going to do. Starting off today, we're actually going to buy some land. Uh, we're going to purchase the other side. Um, and then that means we can kind of work our, our roadways to make our areas bigger. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And so do we actually have any bigger roads available yet? Four lane road. And then we, we still don't have highways. Okay. So we can't really upgrade yet. We still need like a 5,000 population. All right. So let's do this thing. So I'm thinking I'm going to go. I kind of want to line it up right there. So put it right there. Um, this might actually, I think I'm going to change the style of this grid, by the way. Um, just not a fan of it. And I'm, I'm actually considering like once we move the road over, um, moving the industrial area across the river. That way they're kind of separated. So let's get into this. So I'm thinking, I wonder how close we should make it to the highway because we got to kind of think about that uh, with this DLC, the noise pollution, which I don't know if there's a tab for that districts, height, terrain, traffic routes. Um, I guess that would just be under traffic. Maybe not actually. Wind, health, education. Fire safety, blah, blah, blah. Noise pollution. So there's there's tons of noise pollution on this highway. So we might want to bring it a curve like right here, probably to follow that line and then run it that way. But try to keep it a good distance away. So you. And I'm thinking here, yeah, we're probably going to have to turn snap off for this one. The big and like. That's a pretty good. Yeah. That matches that pretty well, to be honest with you. And then we're, I think we're just going to freehand it from here, to be honest with you. So. Like there. And we're going to take it all the way up to the edge of our land there. This is going to give us uh, we're going to rezone a lot of this. This is going to give us a ton of new area, which is kind of exciting. I wonder if I can hit that in one shot. No, that needs to be reworked there. So that that's a weird kind of curve there. All right, let's zoom in. Mm, I don't think I need to go out a little bit. I think I need to go in. About right there. I wish that transition was a little bit smoother. Uh, oh, by the way, we do not want to be doing that. All right, I'm going to try to make that transition just a tiny bit smoother. Much better, much better. So now we have a big curve here because of the highway. That's a weird, that's a weird curve. All right there. Okay. So yeah, this is like legit how cities were ran. They try to maximize the most space by just, they, they follow the natural curves of the city. 
Um, and I was like, I always kind of felt like I was doing it wrong, but after like doing all this research for it, I'm like, I really feel like I'm doing it right now. Put that there, and then let me. There we go. So something like that, and then we'll do the same on the other side as well. So then this gives us a opportunity to sort of restructure our grid. Um, and we should also probably work on moving all of this over. Uh, do we have a trash facility? I should be able to move that. OK, uh, I think we're going to move this as well. We got to be careful, though, because we don't want to do too much at once. If we do too much at once, we could like lose the city. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this now. Uh, I'm actually going to leave this like this because that gives us the opportunity to put trees in. One thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to dezone the commercial area right here. Or try to. And we'll put that in, in a minute. There we go. Let's uh, quickly play. So that'll de... Just a de ah, I can't talk. That'll despawn. Step back, step back. So pause. Don't want to lose too much money. All right, so because I'm, I'm thinking what we're probably going to do is we're going to lose these middle streets, I think. And if there's any houses in there, we'll get rid of them. I'm just not a fan of those yet, so if we need to change them later. What is this? Police station. Turn it. There we go. And then that. That should take care of that. There we go. So then let's pull our grid forward. I hope the line work doesn't get messed up due to that curve. I think it's going to be okay. Right click, Jevin. Right click. There we go. See, that's going to be an issue right there. Can I do it on this one? I wonder how I could fix that. I think that's a transition between two roads right there. Let me pull that forward and then that transition looks much better. There we go. And then how big were those grids? I think it's like 10. Hold on. Does that tell you increment? It doesn't tell you increment, does it? I think it's just two squares, though. That's weird. Yeah, so there'd be one, there would be two. Something like that, maybe. That is okay. I wonder how we can make that better, though. Because that would probably be a traffic nightmare, to be honest with you. <laughs> it would probably be pretty bad. Um, we could probably just do it like this. Get rid of that. Crap. Bottom. Then. So could I, I think I'll be able to connect this together. Ooh, that is not a good thing there. That's going to make this weird what we might do is get rid of this and then let's connect that together like that um so that makes that follow that line we just need to figure i guess we could leave that like that for now yeah that's not that's not too bad I don't think that we could honestly fit anything into here anyways. Because that's like what two two like two blocks, yeah. 
So let's uh, let's think about our zoning. How do we want to do our zoning? I think we should do our zoning because if you think about it, the noise pollution, like right here, is pretty bad. Um, average noise pollution. All right, so we should think about keeping that the noise pollution together. So I'm thinking. Um, Continue this over here. And I'm going to switch to the paint bucket. And this, the, the, like, I, I don't want you to think that this is, like, finished by any means. This is going to take a lot of development to get where we want. So. And that's not connected yet. But I think I'm going to do. Quickly push play, pause. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna lose a bunch of money when this starts up, but we should be good to go. So that makes power there. Okay, let's think about zoning. So we got blue on the outside. Um, I wish we had like a light blue, but uh, then I'm going to marquee the rest of this. There we go. So that's gonna give us a lot of space to work with. sure I got it all there we go now we should probably think about um, okay oh you know what one thing I want to check on hold on click on that uh, is it not gonna let me click on that actually I think I need to click down here so hospital the hospital has quite the range um, the only time we really need to think about adding more hospitals is when the capacity is higher I think we're going to be okay. So, yeah, I think in each zone, though, should have their own. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this guy. And we are going to set, um, let's see, we're going to set each side like one specific spot to have a lot of our area. So the firehouse was that, uh, that was the police station. No, that's fire department, so the police station. Let's move the police station down to the end. Okay, that takes care of that. Um, so the hospital was there. Can I move that? How much is that gonna cost? It's relocation cost is 200. I wanna put it like right in the middle. I'm gonna have to waste a little bit of money here, I think. Uh, there so and then we'll develop this area as sort of like our city center should be pretty good I think okay so let's um just make sure we got a couple things done here before we open everything up to the public here and is our water consumption and waste good yeah we're good there Gucci there and a little tiny one at the top here don't forget we still have the space on the other side too what we could do um is make like a bridge here or something all right so that takes care of all that uh electricity will flow uh, i think we're good to play go ahead and push play and see what happens we should just start generating better money soon Ooh. Losing all those things makes our money go negative pretty quickly. Mm. Let's take a look at the money tab. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Although we're starting, it's starting to come down now. It's coming down pretty fast, actually, like $40 at a time. Now that we're getting all these new residents in the city. Fantastic. Okay. What we got going on over here? There was a cop there. How dare you, copper? All right, so that takes care of part of the city. I still want to fix this. I um, I honestly 
See, the problem is, is that like, if I move this to here, this is going to look weird no matter what I do. I'm not sure how to fix that. All right. So we're definitely getting money now, almost up to a thousand. So we should start thinking about where we're going to put our new industry. Um, and kind of even want to expand our city out a bit to the other side now. Okay. So let's go ahead and pause that. And since we already sort of have a small design here, let's go ahead and hit that up. So that goes to one, just like that. Yeah, wait, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, does that look like the same size to you? <laughs> it doesn't to me. Uh, I can't tell if that's the same size or not, to be honest with you. Construction costs 400. I guess it's the same then, yeah. All right, so that'll give us our baseline there, there, so we'll have, we will have uh, plenty of residential space. That's not going to be an issue at all. And then there. Okay, so then we need to kind of. I wonder if that'll catch that grid. Because I want to kind of keep that the same, so let's switch to this one. Uh, let me turn snap off. How did I do that? That looks pretty close. <laughs> That's hard to do. Okay. And then... To about... Right there. Now... Uh, how far does our grid actually go out? Oh, we got plenty of room. We do need to keep in consideration the land over here. As well as... Um, this so turn the snap back on and it's already been 17 minutes jesus time it flies with this series i don't know if this one's gonna let me go straight or not what i might Cut that back some. Made me work for that one. Maybe one more. And so... There we go. And we'll do a... I'm gonna have to pull that down. And then... Make sure that this curve remains the same. I don't know how we're going to make that work. About right there. There we go. And I'll uh, remove that for now. So something like that. Uh, it's got the makings. I still need to fix this area. So let's go ahead and think about electricity, water, yeah, just the water over. So this is going to give us a pretty big population. Ooh, I'm getting tired. It's like four in the morning, though. I just I love recording this series. Okay, so that takes care of that. Uh, the electricity will spread. Let's think about zoning. Um, this is all going to be blue. And then we might even make a, like a main highway down the road there eventually. And keep the 
that there. There we go. Yeah, perfect. And that's gonna bug me. I gotta figure out a way to fix that. Hmm. Like legit, the only thing I could think to do would be to just if you pull that there, that makes that look so bad. I wonder if we could I wonder if we could fix that like that. And then there is no like there is no middle point. I think I'm just gonna have to leave it like that to be honest with you. Maybe. We'll see. I might even remove these these roads there. Right, so zoning. You. There we go. So that's gonna give us a lot more residents. Um, uh, what road is coming in here? That won't let me click on that, will it? No. All right. Um, these are on ramps. These are highways. We don't have highways yet. So. I do want to think about the design for how we're going to do the main system road. Like this is it right here. And I'm thinking I kind of wanted to come down and then over the bridge here somewhere. Um, maybe like right here. OK, so let's let's try to get a road in there. See if we can figure out something that we like. I hate that. We'll have to work on that curve there a little bit. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's that should work. Let me delete that. Okay. Oh, it's not a straight line. <laughs> like what? something like that right there oh yeah that looks good i like that and then we'll have to mimic that road so let's uh think about how we're gonna do the shoreline here which is probably gonna be the same thing there we go so the shoreline is just going to Kind of want it, yeah, just like that. I think that it can almost be a straight line. I think. That is kind of close to the way that that looks. Honestly, that's not very good at all. <laughs> that's kind of bad, actually. Hold on. Got to fix that. That does not look good. Oh, I just realized we need to press play. We're running out of money. There we go. So we should start having new people move in. Income should raise. We need to make sure that the electricity is going to spread accordingly. And then the water is taken care of. They don't have electricity. Oh, we need to pause. There we go. We don't have enough power. No power. So these pull in zero to eight. That could be a very good short term solution because I don't think we have enough money for the other power plants. OK. Cannot build on water. So this is going to be very, very short term. It needs to be close enough. There we go. I'm going to move that. Don't worry. I just need that to make temporary power. We're good. We're Gucci. There we go. 
So everybody's moving in. Everybody's got power. Everybody's got water. We just need to build our in income up real fast. So we are doing pretty good here. Yeah, we're getting like $2,500 a day. But there, it looks like there might be a trash problem. No. Let's look at our other services here. So trash. Uh, we are over garbage production, so we will definitely need to do that. Um, that's definitely going to be a problem. All right. I could make another recycling plant. How much are those? 8,000? Put it there for now. That'll take care of that. Fire's good. Water's good. Man, electricity is killing me. I can't catch up to electricity. <laughs> it's not not doing that great here people and I don't think we can take another loan no when is our next uh, population goal oh let's see if we can just get that we might be able if we can get the population goal then we can get the bonus for it people are probably not going to be pretty happy though wow that is moving mighty slow Come on, get to 2400. Just get there. Hmm. Uh, so close, so close. I think we're gonna be good. Yay, and we got money, pause. Okay, so this is where I think we're gonna end this episode. Because next episode, we are going to start working on moving our industrial area across the river here. Uh, that's where we're going to like this whole area right here is going to be all industry. So uh, very good episode. We got a lot done. We got a lot of planning done this episode. We need to fix that still, though. So anyways, I hope everybody has a fantastic day. I want to thank you all for watching uh, what the next couple of episodes. We're going to start planning out um, sort of the greener stuff in this uh, game, because that's what this DLC is. Some of the newer buildings and things like that. I think a uh, floating garbage collector. Huh, that must be a new add on, but I'm pretty excited for some of these things. So I want to try some of this. Is there? I don't think that counts. Um, I, would, I would assume that some of these city buildings, like Institute of Creative Arts, I don't know if that's a new one or not, but anyways, I hope everybody has a great day. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you hit the like button. Otherwise, I Jim. Peace out.